Hello friends my name is Om Brambhat and today I am going to uh, show you the explanation of chapter 1 of class 6 who did Patrick's homework now I am also going to uh, cover up class 7 of also because I am in class 7 and I remember most of class 6 so that's why I am going to do class 6 and 7 of you know covering the chapters so first of all who did Patrick's homework now, before you read, do you like homework? Nobody likes homework. Do you do it yourself or do you get help? Now, according to me, I do my homework myself. Sometimes I get help. What homework do you usually have? Now, that depends upon you. First, Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what can he do? But what could he do? He hated homework. Now, who did Pat Patrick's homework every time the rhyme, it, the last word rhymes on every two sentences? So it's not like a poem, but it's still like that. So Patrick never did homework. He just didn't, he's never interested in doing homework. He rather plays hockey, basketball and Nintendo. Now Nintendo is a game console. It's a type of video game. Yeah, um, Nintendo is type of game, video game. His teachers were always very angry because of Patrick. But still, Patrick does feel like sometimes that, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm, I should do some things. I'm very idle nowadays. But then he's like, no, I'd hate homework. Now, second paragraph. Then one day, he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high, tall hat, much, much like a witch's. He yelled, Save me. Don't give me back to that cat. I'll grant you a wish. I promise you that. Uh, so, ignoramus means an ignorant person. So, one day, Patrick found out that he, his cat was playing with a doll which he has never seen before. And then he grabbed the doll away to look at it. But it wasn't a doll. It was a small elf. A man of the tiniest size. He, had a, he, weared, he wore a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches. Breeches means uh, short trousers, short type of pants. And a high tall hat, much like a witch's. Uh, you know how witches wear that? It is like a point, it is like a cone. Yeah, that type of cat. Uh, not cat, hat. He said, he yelled, save me. Don't give me back to that cat. I'll promise you a wish. Uh, yeah. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good enough joy, job, I can even get A's. Now Patrick, he was a little bit smart, so he thought that, wow, my luck is so good. And then he said the, and then he said the wish that, if you do all my, his homework till the end of the semester, uh, which is ending in 35 days, he can get A's and your wish is over and my wish is over. Uh, the little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I'll do it. The little, the, uh, the elf's face, he was very sad, he was very sad, angry and all that and disgusted. His, looked like, his face like, looked like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper. Dish cloth means a cloth used for washing dishes and hamper means a basket with a lid. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Now, these expressions are, you know, he's very angry of this thing that he doesn't want to do this type of, you know, what can we say, this type of 
what yeah but he's he's saying that am i cursed i mean i w- i don't want to do this type of cursed job but i'll do it fifth paragraph and true to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help in whatever way uh, the little elf uh, took um, you know did his promise and started doing patrick's homework but he had a little problem glitch means a fault in a machine or a problem now uh, in this one it's problem he didn't know he was not like the smartest person in the whole world so he had to take help from patrick for ever every time now fifth paragraph uh, fifth fifth part second paragraph i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dis- dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter now the elf doesn't know this work this word so the elf said that give me a dictionary no and get, give me a dictionary but after that he thought of a d- different plan he thought that no just give me that uh, just you read the dictionary and find the meaning of it and say it word by word chapter 6 when it came to math patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked we elves never need that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so when it came to maths patrick was just out of luck i mean the elf didn't know anything he didn't know time tables he didn't know simple equations and all that so elves know nothing of human history so yeah i mean he always shouted at patrick like give me books and you will read me with them as well chapter 7 ah not chapter 7 paragraph 7 as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag nag means one who troubles someone all the time patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry now that that elf was so bad at doing patrick's homework that patrick had to do it himself but um it was so hard for him that he he got into very bad condition at from going to for, to going to school finally the last day of school arrived and and the elf was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door slyly means secretly <coughs> uh the last the last day of school came and the patrick and the what can i say the elf went away patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wonder what had happened to patrick he was now the moral kid cleaned his room did his chores was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude now patrick he became a better person he did everything now um he was like yeah now i am very nice so i will do all the hard works will do all the chores and all stuff all the stuff i am going to be kind to people all that you see in the end patrick still thought he made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself so yeah patrick still thought that the elf did all the homework of him but then we know that that the elf did not do eric uh, patrick's homework patrick did his homework himself so this was the whole chapter this story was written by carol moore and now we will go to uh, a house a home 
what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that hard so window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others its brothers and sisters and fathers and mother is unselfish act and kindly sharing and showing the love ones they always caring now there is a difference between a house and a home a house is just the building and the structure of the whole house like wood window yard eaves chimneys stucco roof doors floors etc now what is a home a home is the uh you know the our families our relationships with other people it's loving and family brother sisters father mothers uh, we always have to do work for them not work for them uh, we always have to help them uh, we should be unselfish to them you're always caring you need to always care for them so yeah this is the difference between a house and a home so this was the summary of the poem it is written by Ro- Lorraine M Haley and uh, uh yeah so yeah that is it for today today's chapter is over i am also going to do qua- qua- class 7 and class 6 i am going to round up all the chapters except hindi all the subjects except hindi and yeah so that's over bye i am also going to go some do some gaming and what can we say gaming and the scientific topics as well as some tutorials sometime so yeah uh, that's it for today bye have a great day